Time to make uh, floats for the Anafi here. Uh, I've done this a couple times and I think I'm on the final version. It's not hard at all. You need some styrofoam balls. Uh, these 2.4 inch, I think these are going to be just about perfect based on the math. Um, you need a ruler and you need something to cut with and you need some rubber bands. All right, so here's a three inch ball um, and here is a two inch ball. You can see there's a big difference. The three inch absolutely would float it, but uh, it's awful big and there's a lot of wind resistance. The two inch, not big enough. Just using this will not float it. If you use two of these and two of these, it will float, uh, kind of lopsided, but it will float. So I got this, this is the third try. This 2.4 inch, um, basically you need 100 cc's for each one based on the weight of water. This thing's uh, not quite 400 grams. So if we got 400 cc's of volume, which this is uh, just a little bit over using four of these. So uh, let's get to it. Nothing, nothing tricky here. Um, the ruler, all I'm doing here is just showing you how big this is, whether you're using inches or metric, uh, roughly half inch by roughly half inch, or if you wanted to do metric, you know, like, I don't know, 15 millimeters by 10. It's a little bit narrower that way. Um, it's not super critical that you get this thing to fit perfectly, um, just so that it goes on there. You don't want it to go up too far. You want it approximately level. And again, this is an emergency situation. Um, I live right near a river and I had a Bebop 2 go swimming. Uh, I really don't want that to happen with this guy. Okay, so, like I said, uh, we got the balls, we got the bands, we got a ruler, got a little cutter tool. It's not very high tech, it just needs to be able to go in there about a half an inch, you don't want to go too deep. Um, and a pencil to mark them with. So we'll open these guys. Okay, and we already measured it, but I know um, let's see if there's anything that looks like a natural top or bottom. No, not really. So I'm looking for about a half an inch by about a half an inch. Let's check the measurements there. Oh yeah, we're about a half an inch that way. A little bit less than a half an inch. And that should work just fine. Now we take this dude, and like I said, you don't want to go too deep, so I'm going to go a little bit, just a little bit less. And just take it, jam it in here, try not to cut yourself. And these things are cheap. This whole bag of these things, I think, was five bucks. So if you screw it up, no big loss. Buy another bag, do it again. Yes, not very environmentally friendly, but there's a whole lot of styrofoam coolers that go to waste every year. And then once you get it cut on all sides, just pop this little chunk out here. And you could get a more sturdy tool if you felt so inclined, but all right. So once you got your hole kind of cut out, then just do a uh, test fit on one of the feet. They're all the same. And you want it to go on there, not super easy, but you don't want to have to jam it in there. So that right there would totally hold itself like that. All right, now, what the rubber bands are for, the rubber bands hold the thing on, but if it actually smacks into the water, the rubber band is gonna keep it from flying off. Why a rubber band? Why not something you know, sturdier? Well, this is super light and very effective and cheap. So there we go. We got one down. Um, don't suppose you guys need to watch the process for the other three. 
So I'll just fast forward through that. All right, there we go. Fairly level. And it might be a little bit higher in the front than in the back, but we're close. Okay, so now our rubber band goes on. Easy peasy here. Line them up. And those uh, styrofoam balls. I got this version at Joanne Fabric. Um, Michael's is where I got the first one, but Michael's did not have the 2.4 inch. And uh, so if you have a Joanne Fabric, at least ours here in Jacksonville, they stocked them. All right. Okay, so here we go. Moment of truth. Got the sink with some water in it. Put the Anafi in. Kind of nervous to let it go. Let it go. We are floating. Little nose high, but it's floating just fine. You can see the, uh, the back ones are a little farther down than the front ones, so that means it makes sense. The battery's heavier. So we're kind of leaning back, but it will float. That's my point. If it crashes in the water, I can go retrieve it. Um, and based on how it's floating, I may even be able to lose one of those balls and still have it float enough to where I can see it. So, yep, that was the proof. Okay, so here we are. This is where I normally fly, big river. And out there's where it Bebop 2 died. So, fire things up. Yeah, there's more wind resistance. Today there's hardly any wind. I mean, it's super calm out here. But if there was wind, you'd see it bouncing around a little bit. So, there we go. Proof. Flies. There's a little breeze, uh, probably mm, five miles an hour, maybe. Um, not much, as you can see from the water, but totally works.